Also staying on top of a developing story out of Riverview tonight, the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office has released body cam video from an overnight shooting in Riverview that left 27 year old Dylan Scott dead. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has the latest on that investigation and why the sheriff says his deputies were left with no choice but to open fire. Show me your hair. The body cam video first shows Dylan Scott taking off, Damn. plowing into a minivan before deputies swarm Scott's vehicle. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Show me your hands. They order him repeatedly to surrender, but when that doesn't work, deputies spend the next four minutes pleading with Scott. The warrants that you have right now, you'll get a bond, but if you make a bad decision right now, it could cost your life. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I'm begging you to not make that choice. HCSO only recently equipped its deputies with self-activated body cams and investment in accountability following this summer's Black Lives Matter demonstrations. Sheriff Chad Chronister says they wanted to release the video as quickly as possible for transparency. Where's the gun at? It's my waistband. Okay, don't reach for it. Don't reach for it. The FDLE, which is investigating the shooting, says ultimately they found no firearm in Scott's truck. Investigators say deputies were serving warrants on Scott for grand theft and resisting arrest. Don't reach. Don't do it. Come on, man. Please don't. Please don't. We looked at the history of the deputies involved. They are identified as Sergeant Michael Hannaford, 18 years with HCSO. 11 years ago, Hannaford struck and killed a bicyclist while speeding to a call. Corporal Steven Schneider, 11 years with the Sheriff's Office. Deputy Timothy Miskell, who's been with HCSO for five years, got into a violent struggle with someone he was arresting about a year and a half ago. A good Samaritan intervened to help him. And Deputy Devin Wooten, 15 years with HCSO. The Sheriff's Office says in late July, they got a phone call from Scott's mother, letting them know that her son had left a note at her house saying that he wanted to die via suicide by cop. All four deputies involved in the shooting have now been placed on paid administrative leave during the investigation. That is considered standard procedure. The sheriff's office says the woman who had been in Scott's pickup was not hurt. The driver of the minivan damaged in the accident was taken to the hospital just as a precaution after complaining of chest pain, but is expected to be okay. Now, as for the body cam video, the full unedited version is at 10tampabay.com.